It's T Bizzle and uh currently at the airport getting ready to take a trip with this COVID stuff going on down. Actually going to Santo Domingo during a state of emergency Welcome with curfew and, and everything safety. else. So yeah man. Uh everybody out here mass it up. And, uh, just the new normal right now. You gotta wear your mask. What's going on everybody? My name is T Bizzle and today I'm going to be giving you the rundown on my recent trip to Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic during a state of emergency. Let's go ahead and get right into it. First thing first, getting into the Dominican Republic was extremely easy. I didn't have to do nothing but fill out a quick form on the airplane that asked questions about COVID related symptoms and if you had it within the last 14 days, etc. Um, besides for that, there was a machine that I guess read the temperature of your face. Um, and it said I was good to go. So getting through the airport scene, I mean, it was it was quicker than normal, it really. <laughs> it was quicker than normal. So, yeah, after that, I just made my way to the um, the Airbnb. What's going on, everybody? It's T. Bizzle here. And uh, we made it to Santa Domingo. And today I'm going to show you around the Airbnb that we got. Let's check it out. First thing first, right away, after leaving the airport, we checked into our Airbnb. Um, there was a curfew out there 
from 7 p.m. to 5 a.m. during the weekdays in Santa Domingo. That's where I was at, Santa Domingo. So there's a 7 p.m. to 5 a.m. curfew. So right away, we knew we had to get our stuff down, check around the neighborhood to see exactly where it was at, get familiar with it, and grab everything that we knew we would need. Water, Presidentes, etc. During the weekends, the curfew was 5 p.m. through 5 a.m. So that's right. That means you had to be in the house at 5 p.m. during the weekends and 7 p.m. during the weekdays or you would face being arrested. So um, that cur that curfew is very serious. I mean, the streets is empty. I think I read that the first day they arrested over 1,500 people for breaking curfew. One of the things you want to understand is how fast that curfew comes because during the weekdays, 7 p.m. is the time you need to be in the house. So that caught me out scrambling around at 6 p.m. trying to hurry up and get back to the apartment before the curfew started because there's a lot of traffic and stuff going on in Santa Domingo. So you don't want to get caught up playing around at the last minute, you know, so take it very serious. Give yourself at least an hour in advance to get to the uh to your apartment or hotel, whatever you're staying in. So uh, you got to take that into account. That's something that I didn't really take into account. Like time would fly by. So we had very little time to enjoy ourselves out and about, which was disappointing. One of the ways me and my homeboy AD got around curfew on the weekends is we went to Boca Chica. Matter of fact, we went to Boca Chica and we uh, got a couple hotel rooms at a resort because the resorts have private beaches, etc., and they can stay open later. So we avoided that 5 p.m. curfew on the weekends by going to a resort in Boca Chica where the party was going on all night long. It was pretty cool. Um, on the beach, pool party, etc. Um, that's what we ended up doing to avoid being in the house at 5 p.m. I think that was the best decision of our trip. <laughs> the best decision of our trip was to go to uh, Boca Chica and enjoy the beaches the restaurant we got to eat until 10 p.m until that restaurant closed so yeah you gotta you know it's chess out here you you gotta maneuver they set the rules and you gotta maneuver another way you know what i'm saying to uh enjoy yourself out there if you're gonna be traveling during the state of emergency and like i said about the um curfew nightlife is basically non-existent out there in uh santa domingo unless you know someone or something like that or you set up a party or something like that the only time we experienced the real nightlife was in Boca Chica at the resort. So uh, nightlife is non-existent, basically, like I said, unless you know someone throwing a party or something like that. Because you're going to be trapped in basically all day because you don't want to leave during the curfew or go to jail. So so basically, I spent a lot of time just drinking pre President Days, rum, and smoking cigars, which is something I enjoy doing anyway. So... Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that was majority of my trip right there. So one of the questions is, am I glad that I took the trip? Yes, I'm definitely glad that I took the trip because I need to get away from this working environment that I'm dealing with every day. So it was well worth it to me. Um, I definitely needed that break. I had as much fun as you could under the certain circumstances, but, um, the restrictions were a lot worse than they are where I live. So would I do it again? Probably not. Definitely not. Not during the uh, state of emergency. Not. I, I wouldn't even go back until everything is open. The the clubs, etc. Because the mask situation, having to wear a mask, walking down the public streets and stuff like that, is very uncomfortable. I mean, we don't even got to wear a mask. I, I don't walk around anyway, but we definitely don't have to wear a mask to walk around the street. Um, it's hard to breathe in. It's hot out there. And I think it was... Uh, I think it was a spoiler for the for the trip. That mask, you forget your mask, hand sanitizer every five minutes, <laughs> you know. But um, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to visiting Santo Domingo again when they fully open, because it looks like it's definitely a fun city to visit. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and show you some some of the footage from my trip, and I hope that y'all enjoy. Until next time, peace out. And before I forget. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell button. And if you got any comments, questions, or concerns, please let me know in the comment section. Matter of fact, tell me if you've been out there, your experience. I'm looking forward to hearing and answering y'all questions. 
Now, until next time, peace out. Shit I heard, man. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> What's on the menu? Yeah. <laughs> there. Fish, like chicken, and cheese. Yeah. So it sounds pretty good over there. Uh, I said, oh. Like, I said, damn. You wanna pull up the seat? Yeah, yeah. where at? I said, don't mind if I do. <laughs> <laughs> you said over here? Yeah. Shit. <laughs> that nigga's a real salesman. Mm -hmm. 